this nigga from the south end go. Ah, two guns go. Ah, ah, this nigga from the south end go. Ah, 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 Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back to the last kid show with your boy motherfucking D Scott. Got my homegirl Lee on the show right here. Uh, woman's football player, you know what I mean? Uh, not that little fucking little 2 2 fucking bra and shit. No, we're yeah. talking about some fucking headhunters, bro. Some knocking motherfuckers out. You, oh, you wonder why I got this shit in my hand. So, I was talking about before the show, what? Uh, motherfuckers are Pittsburgh fan. I was like, what? So I put the sage right and put this shit right Oh, there so around. that's what you got it for? Yeah, it's for around my Oh, the disrespect. I need some Palo Santo yeah. or something, because mm -hmm. this nigga likes cowboys. Hey, hey every, all day, every day, bro. On everything. On every motherfucking thing. I say everything. I mean everything, nigga. Everything. <laughs> But yeah, welcome to the show, my nigga. Um, so, I don't know if you watched the show before, but I do ask people, have you ever shit yourself or pissed yourself? Go. And then you have, it's motherfucking, yes, you have. Go. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, like, I'm a frequent pisser. Like, <laughs> it's like the closer I get to my house, the more I have to pee. And, like, right when I'm getting to the front door, I'm putting the keys in. I'll be like, oh, shit, doing a potty dance, can't get my... Door open and whatnot, so I definitely have pissed myself. Like, I mean, like once a month, probably. Oh, it's kind of weird, but for sure. Like, as oh. soon as I get close to the house, and I'm telling my wife, like, babe, can you put these in the washing machine? Oh, shit. so you pissy leave. Yeah, you pretty call, much. No cap. Leave. I ain't never peed in the bed, but I definitely <laughs> pee on myself at that the front door a lot. That's crazy as yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's weird. I'm on some real shit. I don't think I never pissed myself. I'm a shitty nigga, so I shit myself multiple oh, shit. times. Yeah, I shit myself multiple times. I have a real sense. Being light skin, I have a real sensitive stomach. Like, light skin do have sensitive stomachs. Yeah, too. that's not. Let's talk about. Let's not talk about light skins. Let's not talk. I'm gonna get upset pretty soon. <laughs> Stop being light skin. I got niggas in the back. Stop being light skin. Nah, it's not even that, bro. It's not even that. It's nah. We gonna say that for a different subject. Wait, question though. When you shit yourself, do you just take your drawers off and drop them in the trash? Bro, it depends how it, de it depends on how bad it is. Like if you walk, if you, <laughs> I'm being dead ass honest. It depends like, on some real shit. It depends like lap. Well, if you go back to the shows and go back to last week, last summer, though that was a shitty ass. Problem I think that was the first episode I watched. Yeah, I, I, I shit myself so bad. Like, I, I was gagging. It was, I don't know what the fuck I ate, bro. I, 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 was, I was like, oh. but yeah, I was gagging really, really, really bad. And yeah, I had those, those are my favorite draws too. Those, those fucking um, dry fit ones. And yeah, I think it purified the shit, bro. So it was uh, like, liquidy and <laughs> shit, all soggy booty. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I threw those bitches away. Yeah, I would have yeah. had to, yeah. for sure. So. Ain't no everybody. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but, so tell everybody what you do. Uh, so yes, I'm Lee. I play for the Phoenix Prowlers. Um, currently, I'm playing both sides of the, the ball, offense and defense. Is that your heart? Uh, defense is my heart. Okay, no, but playing both sides is that hard? Like, oh, is it hard? Yeah. Um, it's hard, especially when you know they want you on special teams and then they put you right back out there to play defense. And then coming from Arizona, we kind of lower in the valley. So the places we've been going, we've been higher in altitude. So it's been hard, but for me, I feel like I breathe better when they say we should be breathing worse, I guess. I got you. So it's, it's been like a kind of neutral heart, but kind of easy for me. Or as I ask because, bro, like, I know I'm telling you motherfuckers, I'm not playing both ways, bro. Like, I'm no, dead ass. Because <laughs> that's how I was in the beginning. Like, I'm not playing offense. Like, uh, that's stupid to me. I'm not just going to stand out there and get hit for no reason. Yeah. Um, but then they're like, oh, you can be on the line, you're strong enough. And so I was like, well, I got my shorty back, so I'm not going to just not be right there because she's the center. Yeah. So I'm going to be on her weak side, anybody trying to come in. But then they'd be like, all right, get out there on defense. Nigga, I'm tired. Hey, low key, you scared the fuck out of me, yeah. bro. Yeah, and that's how they be. So it's, it's give and take at this time. But What you love about football? What you love about it? I love about football just being able to be out there like it's an adrenaline rush. Uh, as soon as that person got the ball when you're tracking it and you're able to just go and smack somebody, it's just all worth it at the end. And it's not like I'm hitting you because I want to hurt you. I'm just hitting you because shit, that's what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to hit you and make a play. And then after that, I'm just going to get back on the line. I used to love hitting my friend. I asked my son why he loved to play football. He was like, my son's 10 years old. He was like, Daddy, 
it's the only reason why I can hit somebody and get no in trouble. I, I was like, damn, you my son. Facts. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm like, damn, okay. Uh, so y'all got a game coming up this weekend, right? Yes, sir. Uh, who y'all playing? Uh, Las Cruces de la Muerte or something. Oh, okay, like that. okay. So we're going out to New Mexico. Are they? Are they? You been watching film on them? I watched a little something. Uh, for the most part, because I only really watch offense okay. when I watch them, just to see what they line gonna do. Mm -hmm. uh, Shorty in the middle, she kind of big. She just stands straight up and kind of just push. So as long as we quick and fast, we don't explode. Like they switch our defense up a little bit, so we kind of got some for them this game. Okay, what's up? What's up? Uh, so how many games you got left? We got two games left, one away, and then our last home game on the 26th at what? Buckeye. Buckeye High School? Mm -hmm. Everybody pay attention to go support. Buckeye Union. Okay, okay, that's what's up, what's up. Uh, so how'd you come out playing football? Like, because you know, it's not like high school, you go sign up and stuff right. like that. Like, what, what brought your attention and all that shit right there? Uh, so originally, I'm a basketball player. Played high school, college, and then I went overseas for basketball. So every time I'm working out in the gym, because of how I look, I guess I got the gay look. A lot of people approach me look. like, yeah, like, hey, do you play football? Nah, I play basketball. Hey, do you play football? What's the gay nah. I'm sorry, what's the gay look? Like, I don't want to get, get, get into politics or anything, but right. what's the, what is the gay look? So they look at, mostly, they look at people and be like, oh, you, you dress like a nigga. You got on a cutoff oh, okay. and some okay. basketball okay. shorts. Gotcha. You got a little bit of muscle to yourself, kind of stocky. So they automatically assume that Oh, you, you'll come out and play football and be hard. Gotcha. But usually those be the softest ones. But I was approached a few times for multiple teams to play football. Um, and then some girl at my job was just like, hey, my girlfriend plays football, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And she was like, you should go out there. Nah. But at the time I was going through like a lot in my life and I needed something to keep me from being in my house, like keep me from coming from work, going straight home and then dwelling on the situation I was dealing with. So then I was like, all right, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna go out there and see what's up. So then when I went, um, they tried to have me running the ball and I'm like, this is my second ACL injury. Like, I can't run the ball. Yeah. Like, I'm not as fast as I used to be, but I'm still strong. My legs are strong, my, my upper body's strong. So put me on defense. The coach was talking a whole lot of smack. So I was like, I'm not going back to that. Like, the way he was talking is, that, that's, that's not me. Mm -hmm. So then um, I got a call from one of the players. She's like, just come out. You know, you have the energy. I like you. You should come out. Just come on the defensive side. It's a whole different field than what they were projecting. So I was like, all right, cool. Next thing you know, the coach calls me. He's like, please just come back, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're an athlete. I feel like you can do this. I was like, yeah, I'll think about it, whatever, whatever. Hung up, the player called right back again. I was like, all right, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. So then it took me, like that was in October, it took me like two months to come back. Still going through the situation I was going through. I decided like, yo, I'm just, I'm blowing up. I'm just sitting here eating. I'm not working out. I'm not hooping no more. I need to get back in shape. Cold as hell outside. It's December. I'm out there sweating. Like, how am I sweating? And it's this cold. Yeah. So then I started developing like a love for it. Well... The person who called me, like, she just started giving me plays, her and her sisters and shit. And it was just like, okay, I can get used to this. I can get used to this. Um, so I just stuck with it. Learned to love it. Then a month before we about to have our first game, and I'm all hyped because I developed, like, a love. I've always watched my brothers and everybody play football. Uh, my brother's pretty cold. He went far with it overseas as well. And I'm like... I, I feel why he like it like this shit is like a family thing is you go hard and in basketball you go hard but it's not the same kind of hard like football like you go hard yeah. so I started loving it COVID happened they shut it down so I'm like damn like I was ready for that so the coach calls and like you should come back you know whatever whatever so then I just came back out been the whole season. Football. That's what's been up. rocking. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, do we got a schedule for next year already, or are you still playing that right at the moment? Um, so, I don't know about the schedule for next year. I know, like, the dates for, like, trials and things like that, yeah. but I don't know as far as uh, exact dates and things. I know months, like, you know, October will start, November will be another tryout. Yeah. 
and conditioning and things like that. Okay. But so, not really like specific dates. So if people want to say if people are watching the show they want to get in contact with y'all or they want to join the football team and or, or even to um, support y'all, how would they do that or who would they contact? Uh they can always go on Instagram at the Phoenix Prowlers. Alright, I'll have it up here somewhere. Yeah, so it's at the Phoenix Prowlers and then also there's a um we got TikTok. Okay. At Phoenix Prowlers. Okay. Um, I mean, there's a lot of ways to get in contact, but it's mostly just at Phoenix Prowlers for the handle, okay. like that. And then uh, Coach Joe, okay. um, you can reach out to me or, you know. All right, I have your Instagram like information. I have everybody's information over here going around. Yeah. Um, anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my family on the field. So, my wife, Christina Morgan, Moya, uh, Jack. Ja Jessica, she kind of knocked up right now, so she ain't playing, but them the ones that kept me on the field, kept me wanting to come back. Uh, the Moya girls, they go pretty hard. And just to the Phoenix Prowlers as a whole, like, you know, we overcame a lot of a lot of things. I wouldn't necessarily say adversity, because, you know, that comes with football, but it's a lot of things that we did have to overcome as far as, you know, being able to make a name for ourselves. So just a shout out to the Prowlers all together. Okay. That's what's up, that's what's up. But yeah, this is your boy D Scott with me. And this was the motherfucking last skin show. Oh, hold up. Yep. Yeah, wait, my bad. Hey, make sure you subscribe to the show. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you throw it out there. Uh, know anybody want to play football, go ahead and contact the Field Impalers. Uh Shout out to Barry All Hairs, you know what I mean? Um, stay tuned for the new um, the new calendar is coming out. Dope Father Calendar. Um, the last skin show is hosting it. I picked 12 Dope Fathers out there that's doing the dope shit with their, their kids. Not only helping them fucking with sports and everything, but hoping them would be a better person. Because again, like I always tell everybody, we have all these bomb ass athletes, all these bomb ass artists, and we have some fucked up people in the fucking world. Again, yeah, sure. so again, um, that's going to be out there. Make sure you support that. Prices for the calendar going to be out. It's going to be 12 Dope Fathers, but I'm telling you, it's, gonna be, it's fucking dope. I'm working on this shit right now. Uh, stay tuned for that shit. We got some more projects happening. Uh, so stay tuned. This is your boy D Scott, the Last Game Show, and Lee. We out this bitch. We out. I put on map for the three. Yeah. They know I'm hot in the streets. Yeah. I get it popping like grease. Yeah. I fly your bitch overseas. Yeah. Smoking on.